Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Three U.S. Marshals dead, officers wounded in shooting near Charlotte, one suspect dead, two others detained. Three U.S. Marshals were killed Monday and five other officers wounded when they were met with a hail of bullets while trying to serve a warrant in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department Chief Johnny Jennings said Tuesday called it the bloodiest day for law enforcement he's seen in his 32 years on the job. Today we lost some heroes that were out there simply trying to keep our community safe, Jennings said at a press conference shortly after the situation settled. To me, it's the most tragic day that I've been involved in, he added. Gunfire broke out around 1.30 p.m. in a tree-lined residential street about 20 minutes west of downtown Charlotte as officers attempted to serve a warrant for a convicted felon in possession of a firearm. Upon arriving at a home on Galway Drive, bullets started flying from within the house, prompting the U.S. Marshals to return fire. When the gun smoke cleared, the suspect, the subject of the warrant, was dead on the front lawn, cops said. When officers approached the home again, more fire erupted from within, they said. SWAT teams and patrol units from CMPD arrived to assist and were eventually able to clear the home, securing two other suspects in the process. There was at least one juvenile in the home, CMPD said. It is unclear at what point during the violent exchange, the officers were killed. In addition to the fatalities, one U.S. Marshal was wounded, as were four CMPD officers. One of the city police officers remains in critical condition. Their injuries vary from serious gunshots to graze wounds. Exactly how many guns or what kind were involved remained unclear, but Jennings said one of the shooters opened fire with a high-powered rifle. They lost their lives after they gave us the opportunity to be in safe place, said Charlotte Mayor Vi Lyles, fighting back tears. The most I can ask of our community is that we honor and respect them for all the work that they've done, for all the work that we'll do, to make it possible for our city to be safer. Source, nypost.com Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.